Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be doing a little bit of an advanced crafting project and that is because I got a Cricut for Christmas and I'm going to be showing you how I make my army bomb decals. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, that's okay. I still have another option for you so don't click off of this video quite yet. So the first thing that I did was I opened up Photoshop and I sort of just created my design. Um, you can actually create your design in Cricut Design Space, but I personally am a lot more savvy and comfortable with Photoshop. I've been using it for a really long time, like since high school. So I prefer to use Photoshop and then import it into Cricut Design Space. So I'm just making my design. I actually had an army bomb decal that I bought from somebody last year before I went to the Speak Yourself tour. And I really liked it, it was great. But as most of you know, if you went to Soldier Field, it rained both nights. <laughs> so it kind of started to peel off and it just wasn't looking as great as it was originally. And now that I have my own Cricut, I decided to create my own. So one of the things that I wanted to do differently with my own design versus the one that I purchased last year was that I wanted my lines to be a lot thicker. Um, the one that I bought was beautiful and I liked it a lot, but the lines were very thin and there was a lot of like complex line design, which was beautiful, but it was kind of hard to get the sticker on and to make sure all of the teeny tiny pieces stayed on and then especially with the rain which you know obviously you can't plan for that but I just wanted these to have thicker lines and a little bit simpler design um, I saw something similar to this that someone else had made so that's kind of where I got the inspiration for it and yeah I really I really like how it turned out I think it turned out really really cute so once I got all of the pieces together I merged all of my layers and made sure to delete any white space in the background and that is because when I insert it into Cricut design space I need it to not have a background so that the Cricut knows exactly where to cut the sticker out So once I was happy with my design and I deleted the background, I saved it as a PNG so that the background would stay transparent. Um, it's not essential. If your background is just white, that's okay. You can delete it in Cricut Design Space. I just personally think that it's easier to already have it transparent. So I opened Cricut Design Space, I set it to my machine, and I started a new project. And then I upload the image and once i upload it i make sure it's saved as a cut and i insert it into my project once i have it in my project i resize it to be the size that i want to make sure that it will fit correctly on my army bomb and then i go to start making it before i click make it on my cricut i check the size that it shows on cricut design space and i cut out the vinyl to be the correct size for what it's going to cut the vinyl i'm using is the holographic vinyl in the color opal and it's so gorgeous i've made several things with this already i think it's so pretty and i just use my exacto knife to kind of map out where i'm going to cut it while it's laying on the sticky mat and then i stick it to the left hand corner i make sure it's lined up and i use my tool to stick it down really really well and before i move on with the tutorial i want to announce my giveaway winners so some of you know that i did a giveaway on this channel i went to the line friends store in new york when i went to see dreamcatcher and i bought a bunch of bt21 stationary items to give away i just want to say thank you so much for everybody that participated in this giveaway and who found my channel through it i appreciate you all so much but unfortunately there could only be two winners 
So the first winner is Des. They have a journaling account, so go check out their Instagram account, Young Journals. They have a lot of really pretty spreads. It looks like they're multi-fandom. They like BTS and NCT and some other groups. I really like their lettering style a lot, so go give them a congrats and give them a follow. Um, thank you so much, Des, for participating, and they are the winner of the first package of prizes, so the Tata notebook, the Chimmy pen, the markers, the notepads, and the Mong washi tape. So the second winner is Lavinia. I'm sorry if I'm not saying that right, but they also have a journaling Instagram account. It's Bujo with Love, and they also are multi-fandom. They like BTS and TXT, and it looks like some other groups. Um, I really liked their spreads a lot too. They were all very different and very intriguing so go check out their account give them a follow and a congrats as well and they will be winning the mini notebook and the cookie multicolored pen so i just want to say thank you again for everybody that subscribed that supported this channel and that participated in this giveaway it was a lot of fun and i honestly would like to do another giveaway like this again sometime so keep an eye out for that maybe when i reach my next goal of a thousand followers we can do an even bigger giveaway or something so thank you again go check out their accounts tell them congratulations thank you to everyone that participated and without further ado, let's move on with the DIY. So the first thing I do is turn on and open up my Cricut. And dude, isn't this thing beautiful? I, I'm just in all of it. If you are someone that likes crafting and DIYs, a Cricut is such a game changer. I got it for Christmas from my mom and my grandma and it is just, it's amazing. Anyways, so I load in my mat with my vinyl on it and I set it to the one notch above the regular vinyl because this vinyl is a little bit thicker and we want it to do a kiss cut which means it doesn't actually cut all the way through it only cuts through the sticker part of the vinyl but not through the backing and that's so that we can peel off all the little extra pieces and put it onto some transfer paper so i let my cricut do its magic and then i pull it out and you can see the cuts there and i don't know why i pulled this off of the mat to do this I don't normally but it's fine so then you just kind of pull off the excess paper around the design and this can be very tedious and I've sped up the video but I'm actually going very very slow and sometimes you have to use the little tools in your fingers to make sure that the essential parts of the design are staying stuck to the paper because you only want to eliminate the background and be careful that some of the little teeny tiny things are not getting pulled off as well like the I that dotted the J I was having trouble making sure it got stuck down so you just have to really take your time and use your Cricut tools and make sure that you get everything out. Now, if you don't have a Cricut, one option is to print off your design on your regular printer and use an X-Acto knife to cut out the design onto the vinyl and this is Cricut vinyl you can get it at your local craft store um this will also be very tedious and it may not come out as neat but it can be done and i believe in you guys you might need a very simple design you might just want to do like the bts symbol or something like that but you can do it so if any of you try out that method um let me know i would love to see what designs you come up with and you saw me there using the transfer tape to put it on there and that's so that I can keep the whole design together while I put it on my army bomb and it's literally just like sticky contact paper. So when you're peeling off the back, make sure it stays stuck to the clear contact paper and then you're going to very, very carefully and slowly apply this to your army bomb. And the reason you have to go really slow and careful is because this is a spherical sphere it's a it's a round surface okay so it's really hard to put a flat sticker on a round surface especially a sticker that has a lot of details to it so as you're sticking it down slowly peel up 
the transfer paper a little bit at a time because the vinyl is like bendable and can be manipulated but the the paper can't so you want to sort of peel it up and kind of push parts down and then peel it up a little bit more and then push the rest down and go very slow again this is sped up but this took me a while to get it to stay perfectly how I want take your time and another thing if there are like some pieces that start to overlap a little if it's just like the lines of the planets that's okay you can trim it a little bit which is actually what I end up doing to mine just so that it still lines up all together and if you kind of mess up it will lift if you're very careful lift the sticker back up and place it back down and smooth it down and make sure that everything is nice and smooth and it's stuck down really nice you want to put a lot of pressure on it and just make sure that it looks exactly how you want it to look before you leave it like that for too long so for those of you who don't have a Cricut or a steady hand with an X-Acto knife, I am going to be selling these on my brand new Etsy shop. So if you are interested in purchasing yourself an RB Mob decal like this, I have all of the members. I have a couple other things like ARMY, blah, blah, blah. I will do a customized one as long as it's not too crazy. Um, it will come with some little freebies and some photo cards and it's pretty inexpensive and I will ship internationally. So if you're interested, the link is in the description. Let me know if you guys try out this tutorial and do it for yourself. I would love to see your designs. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for other content and other giveaway chances. Thank you so much for all of your support and I will see you guys next time.